Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo, what's going on, people? Um, hmm. It is officially Friday. It is hot as usual. I got my air conditioning going. Boom, 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 boom. And um, it's going to be hot, I guess, because the bathroom. The bathroom is always hot, I guess, because I have the better lighting. Um, I guess I'll get to that point one day. Oh, probably soon. Maybe. Maybe I will. <laughs> anyway, what's going on, people? Um, I know I've been on hiatus. I haven't been really putting up that many videos and stuff like that. Um, things are going to the left. Um, I tried to do this color thing with the black to the blonde. This old thing is called old, old tree or something, whatever it's called. I tried to do that, and that went to the left as well. Um, hmm. Well, yesterday, let me tell you. So, yesterday I was out, and I was hanging out about, well, I was taking care of a couple of business and stuff like that. And I ran into somebody that I knew, which was really cool and stuff like that. Let me get some tissue. So, I thought it was really cool with me. Now, I remind you, when I had a car, they was all, you know, jumping in my car. Hey, what's up, girl? And I'll drop them for home. All of a sudden, now you see me out in public. You don't know me. That's okay. That's all good. good. I don't care. And he's not like one of these down little type of guys. He's like more like a, who do you do what? <laughs> uh, but then you want to act all, you know, that kind of way. And once you open up your mouth, mm, boo boo, mm mm, your secret is not a secret. Because you give all this and this. I said, maybe you just don't like me, you know. Hey, I can't stop people from liking me or don't liking me and stuff like that. It is what it is. So you could, you have the right not to. But I came to terms yesterday that I like people. In fact, I love people. And I realized that yesterday, which I, you know, always said a lot of things. Oh, people always come around me and stuff like that. People could kind of pick up on my energy and stuff like that. When they see somebody by themselves, I always smile at them. And I never really noticed this until yesterday. I was like, oh, my God. You're always smiling at people. I see I see a woman come and go, oh, hi. you know, always smile. They smile back. People smile back when you smile at them, which is really weird. I didn't even know I was doing this. And um, and these people are not gay or whatever the case is. These are just random people on the street that they walk off. And they'll smile back, you know. And, and I'll go, hi. They'll say hi back. You know, it's really weird. I can't call me dumb. I was like, well, bitch, what? Anyway. Okay, fine. I realize I love people. I said that in my video before. Everybody knows I love people. I love crazy. I love straight. I love different. Not that different, but you know. Anyway, that being said. So I decided this spot. I'm not going to rename nameless. <laughs> and these two guys was there. Now, you know, I'm sitting inside the waiting room, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. And no, it's not a hospital or some, some other type of thing, but it was... It was like a place where I'm not going to give that much information because da, 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 they don't know if they want you to know. Like, anyway, so that being said, so um, I'm there and everything, and I see these two guys, and they're like talking. This is this is a straight establishment. <laughs> like, we're not in, everywhere. But um, so they started talking back. I said, yo, man, what's up, dog? And da, 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 I don't know what's up. They were talking, you know, hardcore. You know, and a girl like me, I'm looking at one of them. He was really fucking cute. And I'm looking at him and saying to myself, Damn, he's fine. Like, damn. Like, if I could just take his hand, comb it, and shave some of that motherfucking beard and fix that shit up, that would be a fine motherfucker standing right there. The bitch was gorgeous. And I looked at this little homeboy, but, you know, he was like, you know, he was like talking to the guy back and forth, but it was like really nonchalant. It wasn't like the fine one was like, you know, talking to him. And it wasn't fine, like, flamey fine or like, you know, da-da-da and da-da-da. It was like, yo, dog, and da-da-da. It was more like a gang almost type of thing, I have to say a gang, but it was almost like similar to that. Anyway, of course my phone is going to ring. Anyway, that being said, so I'm sitting and I'm back and I'm, I'm falling asleep because I'm waiting and I'm waiting on someone and I'm just tired and I'm like, oh my God, I'm falling asleep. So, I'm sitting up there and I'm waiting and waiting and the guy started talking more, but then I started noticing something that was a little odd within this hall one. Like, he kept talking to me. He's like, yo, what's your name? I'm so-and-so. He, he called himself some fake-ass name. Like, some, I think it was Herb or some fake fucking name. So I was like, my name is K Karaka, some bullshit-ass name he gave. So I'm saying to myself, okay, they're giving out fake names, okay? I was like, that makes me feel so uncomfortable when I meet somebody and they give me a fake fucking name, bitch. And, like, you call yourself Pinko. My name is Purple. My name is Lavender or Orange or Green. Bitch, don't give me no fake fucking name, you fucking freak. Because at the end of the fucking day... I'm 
really not trying to find like, all your information. Fuck you. But anyway, that's not, you know, that's just my opinion. I mean, if you come to bring me something, you call me anything, you call yourself, you can call yourself Tall Peter. <laughs> anyway, that being said, if you don't know what Tall Peter is, that means it makes your dick not get hard. Anyway, that's going to give you people in prison. And I said I've been there, but I've heard. <laughs> Anyway, that being said, they were sitting there, they were talking back and forth and stuff like that, but then all of a sudden, this other guy came back, and he came and sat right next to the guy. I mean, he sat right in the chair next to him. So I'm saying, well, you know, usually when guys are straight, they kind of sit a chair away, or down the like, sit He sat right next to him and pulled the chair. I was like, you like him. The other guy looked at him, and I think the other guy picked up what I picked up. I was like, this guy really feeling you. If I only could just walk over there to that guy, that cute, and I'd be like, boy, let's Excuse me, could you, I push up my, excuse me, excuse, excuse me, uh, what you looking for? <laughs> but of course, he wouldn't have wanted me because, you know, evidently he was attracted to, you know, someone of his being looked like him. But anyway, this video is about, and to me, I feel like, I don't know if he knows or he didn't know or what the case may be. I kind of picked the other one that he didn't catch up on. He caught it like I caught it. The homeboy is gay. Like, I don't know if homeboy knows it yet, but homeboy knows it, trust me. But homeboy doesn't realize how much of the gayness he's given out. And I want to know, you know, have you ever went through that when you first came out? How did you really realize that, oh, my God, I like the same sex? Oh, my God, I'm in love with men. Oh, my God, I'm in love with women. How did it finally hit you? Like, who was it that you saw when you was like, oh, my God, this guy can get it. And your friends are like, but that's a guy. you like, oops, I was just playing. <laughs> and you know damn well you wasn't. Or you found a guy looking at, you found a guy that you were looking at, and you're like, wow, I'm attracted to this person, and I know I shouldn't be, but your feelings and your hormones and everything is so fucking wrong. Like, you just cannot stop this feeling. Because a bitch is fine. Like, fine, fine. Oh, the dilemma, the dilemma, the dilemma oh, of your truth. I want to know, like, where were you at? With me, when it happened to me, it was, I was looking at it, um, <laughs> this is me when I was coming up. I saw a magazine inside of a um, page, and it was a woman, a Victoria's Secret magazine. She had blonde hair. She had nice boobies, but she had wide hips. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to look like that. That was not the first time to be really thinking about it. And I saw this guy, and I saw him on TV. It was a Jungle Book story, and I looked at him. It was a Jungle Boy. I know he's like, bitch, how old are you? <laughs> but I was little. I was not. So I said, oh, my God, he is so cute. And my cousin was like, you're not supposed to say that. I was like, why? She said, it's a boy. I said, I went into my Samantha Sex in the City. Ooh, but darling, <laughs> he can get it. <laughs> She's like, get what? <laughs> I'll see whatever he's advertising. I'm buying it. <laughs> anyway, that being said, I'm going to do this video too long and I'm going to sweat too bad. Anyway, uh, that being said, okay, people, I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank all my new people. Boom. I want to thank all my old people. Bam. And I want to thank you all for leaving your comments and sharing because there's other people that are actually listening. And you do actually help out more than you know. So it's all like a, I tell you stuff, you tell other people stuff, and we just keep it going on. We keep the chain going. Because there's some people out there that are really afraid to even put something out there. And for those one who are bold enough to do because you care about your other people, thank you so much for being responsible and actually put someone else's heart and their problems in front of your own and say, hey, I'm going to help out too. Let me leave a little comment to help share the other people. It's not really just for me. I mean, I hear what you're saying. But you actually help other people more than you know. Anyway, and that's what we all here for. We only here put on this earth to help other people. I understand we want to get to our money and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, we all got to help each other out because your stories are my stories and all of can actually fall into a ball to really help somebody else out. Somebody that may not even want to be here on this earth no more because they've had just enough or, you know, too much because the world could be real fair to you when you feel like you're by yourself. That's why you got your big sister raving. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. Oh.